Good day, beloved. Today I want to discuss what a privilege it is to be a part of the body of Christ. What makes the church so special? Well, first of all, Jesus says in John 14, nobody comes to the Father but by the Son. But it also makes very clear that nobody comes to the Son if they haven't been drawn by the Father. Now, we can all say that, all right, we have to come to Jesus because everybody says we have to come to Jesus. But what is this Jesus the Bible is referring to? When we read from 1 Corinthians 12, we see that you are the members on the body of Jesus Christ. There are many members, but one body. In John 15, the Bible says, I am the true vine, you are the branches. Now, if Jesus is the vine and we are the branches, how close are we to Jesus? If the church is Jesus Christ and we are the members on the body of Jesus Christ, how close to Christ are we? If we are members on the body of Jesus Christ, who are we waiting for to come? There are so many religions waiting for a Jesus to come from space somewhere. Now this is how special it is for us to have been chosen to become a member on the body, Jesus Christ. Now remember, I'm not a finger, my brother a foot, and my sister an eye, and the other one a nose. No, no, no. We make out the body of Jesus Christ, wherein Christ lives. And what lives inside Christ? What lives inside the body of Jesus Christ? God. Because Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. And we are members on the body of Jesus Christ. Let me give an example. When Lazarus and the rich man were in heaven and in, in hell respectively, the rich man said, let me go warn my brothers. And what did Abram say to him? He said, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. If they didn't want to go to hell, they had to listen to the word of the prophets. And this is the same today. We are temples for God. We are truly temples for Jesus Christ. Because Jesus, the Son of God, the light and understanding, the truth, lives within us. And that is how we make out the body of Jesus Christ. So if somebody is waiting for Jesus Christ to come, who are they actually waiting for to come? They are waiting for the church to come and teach them the truth. Because Jesus Christ will not come with observation. Luke 17, when Jesus was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he said the kingdom of God comes not with observation, people. And now you might say, no, but why does Revelation 1 say, when he comes in clouds, every eye shall see him. And Matthew 24, and all over the Bible, with the coming of Christ, every eye shall see him. I want to give you an example. In Luke 8, Matthew 13 and Mark 4, Jesus gave his disciples the parable of the sower. And his disciples asked him, what does this parable mean? And you know what Jesus said? He said, unto you it is given to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of God, to others not, because seeing they see not, hearing they don't understand. You have the eye to see. And if you do not have the spirit eye to see into spirit, you will not see the kingdom of God come. So the kingdom of God comes with observation, yes, but not physically. You will not see a physical God come on a physical cloud with a physical eye. You will see God come because God is spirit. Let us be logical about this. 
God is spirit, according to John 4, 24. And he wants to be served in spirit and in truth. You are the temples of the living God. God lives within us. So if God uses my body to preach the gospel, to recreate himself within somebody else, to place the light that he placed within me, within somebody else, how will it be visible with a physical eye? You won't see that. Only with a spirit. When you understand, you will see. Let me give you an example. When the students sit in a school and they don't understand something, and they ask the teacher to explain what they don't understand, what is the, the student's response when they understand? Oh, now I see. They didn't physically see anything. They understood. The eye of understanding opened. And that is exactly how you see the kingdom of God come. We have all these gifts. The prophet, the evangelist, the apostle. And we are led by a living God. Why do you dream? We dream because that is the prophet. Write down your dream. And sometimes it's a warning. And sometimes God leads us in different ways. What other religion are there on the planet that knows how to lay out dreams? Nobody. Who else have the true prophet? The eye, the eagle, the wings of the eagle. People don't even understand these mysteries of the Bible. But these are things that's revealed to us. We understand the mysteries of the kingdom of God. We are members on the body of Jesus Christ. Now, is that not a privilege? Appreciate what you have, beloveds. We are members on the body of a living God. In our next video, I will continue with the evangelistic teachings of Jesus Christ for us to get a better understanding of what God really trying to teach us from the Bible and how to live our lives as members. God bless you all and thank you for listening, beloveds.